Hello boys and girls, let's do some math. I have a chart behind me. We are gonna be using this chart to answer some questions. And as you can see, I haven't filled anything in quite yet, but I will in just a second. I just needed some help from Mrs. Duck is here to help us out. Hello boys and girls, hello. It is I, Mrs. Duck, and I'm here to help out with math. All right, Mrs. Duck. So what, uh, what are we doing here today? Well, this is a chart about what we see. I'm pretending that we took an imaginary trip to the jungle to see some different animals, to the jungle or the safari, huh? Yes, yes. And the animals that we're gonna be working with today are lion, elephant, and monkey. And Mr. T is gonna fill in some of these boxes here and then you are going to answer a few questions that I have for you. Mr. T, if you could fill up our chart. Okay, so our chart here, this is uh, the lions. And when I fill in one of these boxes, it means that we saw one lion. Each box means one. Each box down here means one elephant. Each box down here means one monkey. Okay, so first, and you know what, I'm going to do it in different colors. First, lion. And I'm not going to fill mine completely in because I might run out of ink and you guys would be sitting there for a long time just watching me color in a box, which I don't think is, is, the, most, uh, is the, uh, the most interesting thing to do. Even though I'm a great colorer, I don't think that would be super interesting for you. So I'm filling in this and as I'm filling in, you can keep track of how many of each I have, we have, we've seen. All right, finally. Okay, here we are. So Mrs. Duck, do you have some questions? Yes, yes. Okay, first, boys and girls, how many lions did we see? Just write that down, put lions and then put the number. Okay, next, elephants. How many elephants did we see? And third, you're going to put monkey and put how many monkeys we saw as well. Okay, so we're reading that. You know what would really help though, Mrs. Duck? What would help? If I numbered the bottom. Down here, our chart should have a number because that's gonna help us to figure out how many animals we saw. We almost made it harder on ourselves. We might as well add that number to fix it up a little bit. Now, now we can do it. Ah, yes, that is perfect. I'm glad I thought of that idea, Mr. T. Okay, well, anyways, um, did you have other questions? Yes. How many more lions did we see than monkeys? How many more lions did we see than monkeys? Okay. And how many more elephants did we see than lions? Good, good one. Any more? Yes, finally, the last one. How many total animals did we see in all? How many total animals did we see in all? All right, boys and girls, I'm going to leave you to finish this. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, but I'm very busy. I have to go lift weights and go sailboating and then deep sea diving, and then I'm going to jump uh, using a bungee cord. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, that was quick. You got out of here. Well, boys and girls, take your time reading this, okay? Take your time reading this. Uh, no need to rush any of it. Follow your line all the way to the end and then track it down to help you figure out how many animals we saw. All right, boys and girls, have fun with this chart. Take your time, like I said. Please don't get discouraged. We're learning, right? We're learning this stuff. And uh, if you want to make your own chart and ask me questions, you can do that as well. As well as jumping on Moby Max. Get on Moby Max and practice your, your math facts. I know it's it, the time's kind of quick, but I, I made a little uh, 
little change. So you have a little bit more time to answer the questions. So give it a shot. Practice those math facts. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.